I'm here with Dan Maloney from Matrox and we're going to be taking a look at this box and what it does. NAB is brought to you by XFX. Final Cut Pro 10 plugins from iDustrialRevolution.com. Dan, we're, we're good friends with Matrox. I've got a Matrox MX02 that I use almost every day and I love it to bits. And came across your stand and this new box has won a lot of awards here. So I wonder if you could tell us what it's all about. Sure. It's called the Monarch, Matrox Monarch HD. It's a uh, professional video streaming and recording appliance. Now, there's a number of devices on the market today. We're not the first to come up with a streaming appliance, but by adding this professional recording, uh, high quality recording channel to this unit, we provide, we solve a very uh, significant problem facing people who are in fact trying to get their content up to the cloud. The problem is effectively, you're always, the quality of your stream is bound by the upload uh, bandwidth that you yeah. have. Yeah. Now, uh, live streaming, while live streaming is very important to reach your audience, mo many of the audience members don't actually uh, view that stream live. They'll, yeah. get, they'll go download the VOD. Now, with this particular product, you can go ahead and stream at whatever bit rate your upload bandwidth will provide. So we'll take up to 1080p 60 input. You can stream that at up to 1080p 30, 20 megabits per second. But most likely you'll be streaming more like at 720p, one or two megabits per second. The device will allow you, it has a completely separate channel to record at the highest quality that you would want to make, you would, as much, up to 30 megabits per second. Now that's Blu-ray quality. So you can stream at one or two megabits per second and record locally to the SD slot or USB 2 drives or even to a network attached uh, map drive on a computer at say 10, 20, 30 megabits per second. You can put that right up to the cloud for VOD or you can edit it down for content. I was going to say, let's face it, if it's a live stream or a live transmission, maybe, you know, it all doesn't go. There's a few exactly. errs, ums or whatever. Absolutely. So you can actually take the full res recording yeah put it into an NLE, trim it down, yep. and then upload that to your favorite, this uh, is a, favorite site. This is an MP4 file. It's playable on Mac PCs and any content creation um, uh, you know, software running on Mac or PC, so very usable. Yeah, imagine, you're in a live event, say it's a sporting event, you want to create, um, create some content that immediately upload to your website, um, you can go ahead and target your editor, trim the content, upload the high quality of the first half of the game yeah, yeah. while even the uh, while the second half is uh, is happening. Um, that's how quickly you'll be able to, to, yeah. to get that out. I'm, I actually do a lot of work in the sports market yes. and I think can see that being very appealing to um, the kind of companies who can't afford a big OB truck to come along and do streaming but um, if you actually can get a stream going let's say it might be something like a, a qualifiers you know yeah. to, before the big coverage comes Absolutely. in. Um, then they could just stream all that, press a button, and off it goes, and, th and then take the full res and put board it down into highlights. Sure, any, I mean, imagine uh, any university that has, uh, could be any type of sports, where you know, badminton courts and, or uh, a variety of, uh, of events happening at once. You put a one camera uh, with one device on every one of those events happening, um, you're streaming it live, so the people around the world can be watching it, recording it locally, so you can start creating high quality content for you know post-event uh, assets, and really that's that's the key. You wanna you've got some assets with a lot of value. You wanna keep them as valuable as possible for reuse after the event, and that's what the uh, what the device really helps uh, solve. Yeah. The problem really helps solve. So I can go through the features uh, a little bit yeah, if you like how how it'd be used. Um, we have a HDMI input and an HDMI loop output, so you can easily monitor what you're actually sending your device. We've got audio, analog audio, in and out as well as embedded audio uh, support. So, in comes your content, your, your video. Uh, we encode that as H.264, uh, an H.264 stream to, you know, out to your CDN or server of choice. Um, here, what our setup here is we have a flash server that's living underneath the table here. So, we're taking an HDMI stream from, uh, uh, from a camera above, uh, up above us here. Uh, we're sending it into our box. Uh, we're encoding that, sending that to the flash server. And the flash server is serving up a, a flash stream or an HLS stream here, playing off. We've effectively emulated a, a mini internet here. Yeah. To d control the device, you go along, simple uh, web page is all you need. You log, put in the IP address of the device uh, into a browser, and you can set your streaming 
parameters as well as the, the target for that stream and your recording parameters including the target for the uh, whether it be USB drives, uh, SD card, um, yeah. again you're setting the bit rates completely independently yeah. and then you're off to the control. You can stream, record, simultaneously one punch, uh, do both of course and we have an additional feature where if you have multiple devices on the same network, yeah. you can go ahead and add uh, IP addresses of those other devices and have a single interface, master interface control, multiple slave devices. So let's say you, you're covering a sports event like tennis and you've got three outside courts. That's right. You could have three of those all looking at yeah. one click and, and One click, once they're configured, one click and you And on top of that, you don't need the computer interface to start and stop recording. We have also added the convenience of one touches right on the device so that literally the event starts, you walk up to the box and press go. Never have to look at a computer screen again. Or, of course, everybody's got one of these uh, around. So yeah. if you're on a network, um, you, if you're on the network, uh, uh, you can certainly patch this into your network and control the device using uh, one of your mobile devices. Okay. How about pricing and availability for the Monarch HD? Well, and this is what some of the exciting things about this product. Um, all this power is available for $9.95. I think that's what made, really made the product stand out, why the awards were, were assigned. We're an enabling technology now. We're enabling a new, new generation of web broadcasters. Um, and the availability will be June 2013. Fantastic. And just before I go, I've just noticed on the other side of the stand, you've got uh, another box running some 4K, so we're, but unfortunately it's PC at the moment. Well, we're going a little bit back to our roots. We've been working with Adobe on the PC for about 15 years, and um, 4K is all the rage at NAB. And, and 4K is the buzzword of this oh, year. Yes. And we're, so we're, we're going ahead and we made a card that's uh, capable of 4K P60 real-time playback and even, uh, you know, uh, multi-layer 4K30 uh, multi-layer editing. So we really put a lot of power, uh, optimize our code for Adobe, and at the moment it's a PC solution. Okay, who knows what's coming up, but hopefully you might be able to see. Okay, exa we'll have to see uh, what, something, something running. Something running, uh, and of course, you know, 4K is in its infancy, uh, but uh, again, enabling technology will help get the ball, uh, ball rolling, and of course, we want to expand that to as much as possible when it's possible. Okay, fantastic. Thanks very much for your time. Have a good day, sir. Thanks. NAB is brought to you by XEffect. Final Cut Pro 10 plugins from industrialrevolution.com.